the organization of living things, the objectives, lists three advantages of being multicellular, describe the four levels of organization in living things, explain the relationship between the structure and function of a part of an organism. Keywords, tissue, organ, organ system, organism, structure, and function. In some ways, organisms are like machines. Some machines have just one part, but most machines have many parts. Some organisms exist as a single cell. Other organisms have many, even trillions of cells. Most cells are smaller than the, part, uh, the period that ends this sentence. Yet every cell and every organism performs all the processes of life. So are there any advantages to having many cells? The benefits of being multicellular. You are a multicellular organism. This means that you are made of many cells. The cells in your body are continually driving to make more cells. New cells replace those cells that die as a normal part of life. Multicellular organisms grow by making more small cells, not by making their cells larger. For example, an elephant is bigger than you are, but its cells are about the same size as yours. An elephant just has more cells than you do. Some benefits of being multicellular are, as are the following. Larger size. Many multicellular organisms are small, but they are usually larger than single-celled organisms. Larger organisms are prey for fewer predators. Larger predators can eat a wider variety of prey. Longer life. The lifespan of a multicellular organism is not limited to the lifespan of any uh, single cell. Specialization. Each type of cell has a particular job. Specialization makes the organism more efficient. For example, the cardiac muscle cell in figure 1 is a specialized muscle cell. Heart, muscles, uh, heart muscle cells contract and make the heart pump blood. Cells work, working together. A tissue is a group of cells that work together to perform a specific job. The material around and between the cells is also part of the tissue. The cardiac muscle tissue, shown in figure 2, is made of many cardiac muscle cells. Cardiac muscle tissue is just one type of tissue in a heart. Animals have four basic types of tissues. Nerve tissues, muscle tissues, connective tissues, and protective tissue. In contrast, plants have three types of tissues, transport tissues, protective tissues, and ground tissues. Transport tissues move water and nutrients through a plant. Protective tissues cover the plant. It helps the plant retain water and protect the plant against damage. Photosynthesis takes place in ground tissue. A structure that is made up of two or more tissues working together to perform a specific function is called an organ. For example, your heart is an organ. It is made mostly of cardiac muscle tissue, but your heart also has nerve tissue and tissues of the blood vessels that all work together to make your heart a more powerful pump than it is. Another organ is your stomach. It also has several kinds of tissues. In the stomach, muscle tissues make food move, and through, move in and through the stomach. Special tissues make chemicals that help digest your food. Connective tissues hold the stomach together and nervous tissues carry messages back and forth between the stomach and the brain. Other organs include the intestines, brains, and lungs. Plants also have different kinds of tissues that work together as organs. A leaf is a plant organ that contains tissues that trap light energy to make food. Other examples of plant organs are stems and roots. A group of organs working together to perform a particular function is called an organ system. An organ system has a specific job to do in the body. For example, the digestive system is made up of several organs, including the stomach and intestines. 
The digestive system's job is to break down food into smaller particles. Other parts of the body then use these small particles as fuel. In turn, the digestive system depends on the respiratory and the cardiovascular system for oxygen. The cardiovascular system, shown in figure 3, includes organs and tissues such as heart and blood vessels. Plants have organ systems. They include leaf, root stems, and stem systems. Anything that can perform life processes is, by itself is an organism. An organism made of a single cell is called unicellular organism. Bacteria, most protists, and some kind of fungi are unicellular. Although some of these organisms live in co uh, colonies, they are still unicellular. When unicellular organisms live together, all of the cells in a colony are the same. Each cell must carry out all the life processes in order for that cell to survive. In contrast, even the simplest multicellular organism has specialized cells that depend on each other uh, for the organism to survive. Structure and function. In organisms, structure and function are related. Structure is the arrangement of parts in an organism. It includes the shape of a part and the materials of which the part is made. Function is the job the, uh, the part does. For example, the structure of the lungs is a large spongy sac. In the, lung, uh, in the lungs, there are millions of tiny air sacs called alveoli. Blood vessels wrap around the alveoli, as shown in figure 4. Oxygen from air in the alveoli enters the blood. Blood then brings oxygen to body tissues. Also in the alveoli, carbon dioxide leaves the blood and is exhaled. The structures of alveoli and blood vessels enable them to perform a function. Together they bring oxygen to the body and get rid of its carbon dioxide.